Hey everyone, Ryan here, I'm at our Productions, and in today's video, sponsored by Whatnot, I am going to be buying mystery LEGO Star Wars items on Whatnot. These include minifigure sets and really who knows what else, haven't opened the boxes yet. And then, after I've opened all of them, I'm going to try to sell them on Whatnot at auction, everything starting at a dollar, to find out what they go for at market value, essentially, and see if I can make my money back on these mystery items, because I'm just kind of curious. I thought it would be a fun thing to do. Now, I'd be remiss if I didn't say that buying mystery items comes with a bit of risk in any case, and that is certainly the case here today. I don't know if I'll make my money back or not. My best advice to anyone that might be new to buying mystery items in general um, is, is only do it in moderation, only do it for fun. Don't be going out there spending $1,000 like I have today on mystery items hoping to get that big catch because obviously the chances are you probably won't. Now it can be fun and it's nice to have that mystery in your life every once in a while, right? But if you want that one specific item, I would highly recommend buying that one specific item. If you want a $200 phase two Captain Rex minifigure, buy the Captain Rex minifigure. Don't go buy a bunch of $5 mystery packs hoping you'll get a Captain Rex minifigure because in most cases, chances are you won't. You're much better off saving up your money for that one big item in the long run, I think. So that's my advice to y'all. I spent a good part of the month of October browsing whatnot to find different mystery items for sale. And all in all, I ended up spending about $986. Now this does exclude tax and shipping. Before this video, I wanted to know the value of the items that I bought versus the value that I get for them once I sell them. And so we will be trying to make $986. Now we gotta see what we'll have to work with to make that money. So I'm not really looking at the individual values of each package in this video. I'm really just hoping to make back the $1,000 total, but we'll see. We have an Imperial or First Order pilot guy there. Should I sell the stickers? I think I should sell the stickers. Got to make every penny I can here. And it looks like here, just a couple of First Order jetpack troopers. At least we got more stickers. That'll help. Now I should say that I think part of purchasing these. Obviously, I didn't know I was going to get these figures when I purchased them, but I believe part of it was also like you get a draw, you get like a one in 10 chance at something else. So some of the money that I spent on this was stuff that I didn't end up getting because I didn't win the like grand prize with it as well. So that's kind of involved in some of this. I think I spent 72 bucks on these total and I didn't win the big prize. So it looks even worse. I think this was my $60 package from Amy Brown, and it's what I expected. I should also say, I bought these on a charity stream. I didn't buy them expecting to get anything crazy. It was a charity stream. This one I really shouldn't have even counted in the video, but I, you know, it was a mystery, so I thought it was fun. So it looks like when I bought this one for just 12 bucks, I got put into a duck race and I got second place, but I wasn't there to choose my winning item. Uh, so they gave me the second best item, I guess, which was Bo-Katan. So for $12 with an extra Bo-Katan, uh, that's not bad. Something I didn't say up front is what Whatnot requires, and that's that sellers tell you the floor price, the ceiling price, and the average price of all the items they're selling if they're selling blind bags. So in this case, looks like about 12, 25, 20 bucks, and the average is value is $25. So not too bad there if that average is correct. And let's see what we actually got inside. Looks like a few 501st Troopers, a 187th, and a, is that a Clone Wars Mace Windu? It's definitely not the newer one. These should be my mystery colored clone troopers. And oh no, they're not clone troopers. They're dark. Ooh, those are nice. I almost don't want to sell those. But the rules of the video are that I'm going to sell everything I get. So we got a trans red Darth Vader and a trans like satin green Darth Vader. That is a nice Darth Vader. I really want to keep that. Nothing else. Oh, Ayla Sakura. Okay, that's not a bad one. This is one of my mysteries from Public Bricks. This is the insane mystery box. Okay. Uh, another Shadow Bark Speeder. Looks like we got a custom Boba Fett, maybe? Custom 501st Anakin. That one actually looks pretty cool. Uh, custom Flame Trooper. Custom not... Okay, I'm not sure which guy that is. Oh, we have a lot more in here. Okay, more custom figures. Custom... Oh, not custom Stormtrooper. Regular Stormtrooper. Regular Stormtrooper. Custom... I don't know, something. Custom Cloud City Boba Fett. That's pretty spot on looking. Definitely UV printed, not uh, the same Lego process. And then Scorch, maybe? I'm not really sure which one is which, but one of the Delta Squad. So this must be a bonus. Like this one was $31, and I got a Gargoyle, a Fireman. 
Beast Lady, and whoever that is. All right, now we get to get into some of our bigger packages here, which should be a bit more exciting than minifigs. Hopefully some sets in here. Not really sure what to expect. I think the total value of these three is probably like four or 500 bucks. So hopefully gonna get some good stuff out of here, but really hard to know. So it looks like this is the $200 mystery box from Republic Bricks. And let's see what we got. It's a big set. What is this? I don't actually know what this is. I can't tell. A lot of gray. A hint of orange. Oh. Oh, a minifigure tacked on there too. Not bad. It looks like Fordo. The Twilight. Not bad. I like that one. All right. So we got the Twilight there. That one actually might sell for quite a bit. It's a very good custom set, I think. And then these last two are from Maddie's minifigures. I don't want to sell this. Oh, I hate the rules of this game. Is that leg printing see through from 2006? That's kind of crazy. Wow. That is a nice lunchbox from Toys R Us, too. Oh, one great... Oh, I thought I said one great items. I was about to make a lot of fun of that. 11 great items inside. Gonna have to sell this, even though I don't want to. And then it looks like we have... Oh. Okay, new rule. <laughs> new, new rule. <laughs> the new rule is that I get to keep one item because I'm. there's no way I'm selling this. It's a Lego Star Wars banner of, of, up the Death Trooper, and it looks amazing. Yeah, I, there's no way I'm selling that. Sorry, new rule. I get to keep one thing. Oh, that's the fan. I was like, why, why is it moving on my computer? And that is not everything that's in there. So far for me personally, that banner is worth like a hundred bucks, but that's very much an iffy, like on any given day type of thing. Um, as far as like what that would actually be worth it, you know, a $1 auction. All right, and it looks like we even got some minifigs here. So, a 212, okay, new rule, I get to keep two items. That 212 trooper makes me very hopeful for what else might be. Can oh my goodness, highlighter yellow? I don't have this one. Can I keep this one? Oh no, I have to sell this. I just made the new rule already. I can't make another rule. Wow, these are some good figures. We have a, uh, I want to keep this one too. It's a regular clone trooper from 2014. Oh, this one actually turned out really well. Now I'm wishing I had bought more of these particular ones from Maddie because I certainly had the opportunity to do so. Another 212th trooper. Okay, Maddie's saving the day here with these. These are nice. And I assume based on the other four items that this is also going to be a clone trooper here but we will see and it is another 212 trooper okay this one costs the exact same 150 bucks let's see what this one has looks like different contents we have a 2002 episode 2 clone we have an arc trooper all right we have some regular clone trooper minifigures here then we have a V uh, V wing. Oh, I was gonna say V nineteen torrent V wing. Very cool set there. Then we have seven one five one. This is Darth Maul's Sith infiltrator. Definitely a very cool set from nineteen ninety nine. Not very good uh, by today's standards. Uh, looks like the instruction manual for said Sith infiltrator. And finally, another. Oh, oh no! My keep one item rule is uh, looking bad. Let's see what this one looks like. Let me flip this around. Boys, all right, come on. Would you blame me if I kept this one too? I can't, I gotta recoup the cost. Gotta recoup the cost, I'm gonna sell this one. I don't wanna sell this one, I really don't. It would be so nice to have, but uh, if I if I can only keep one, I'm keeping the Death Trooper one, so I'll roll, not have to roll this back up, I didn't think of that. I have to roll this one back up and we're gonna get rid of this one. This one is really nice though, oh my goodness. So those are all of the mystery items unboxed, just about a thousand bucks. And hopefully on the live stream tomorrow, I will make $1,000. Although, just giving you my honest thoughts here, probably not. Um, but we'll see. We're going to give it our best shot. So I got my stream rolling up here. Uh, going to be selling some items. A lot of fun people in chat. Uh, we have everything on the base plate to sell, like I had said. Um, and then all that stuff back there is just extra stuff. Oh, I almost forgot about this. The lunchbox and a banner. We're selling a Lego Star Wars banner today and a lunchbox. A very cool lunchbox at that, so we have some cool stuff. All right, I have these two card packs with these stickers, and we're going to start this auction at just a dollar again. All right, looks like this one's going to sell for five bucks to Jacob.
Six! Oh, last second. I really wanted to keep the helmets from these two 12 troopers, but the rule is keep everything, except for one item. I am keeping one item. I'll show you guys in the in the video when you watch it. The lunch box is off to the races. $31 to Jacob, 35 to Stellar Deals, $37 to Derg. The competition for the lunch box heating up. Everyone's got their middle school lunch tomorrow and they need a lunch box. $43 sold to Silly Gamer Boy. The Twilight, $65 a steal. Again, it's on his site for $270. 99 bucks to Brick Broker, not even $100. Sheesh. $270 is his retail price on that. That's a steal. All right, it's time for the sudden death round. These are going to be the crappy used figures back here. Um, I apologize, but I do have to sell these. 15 second sudden death. They just got to go. So if you see a figure you want, please press bid. $1. $2. Sold, let's go. Four, thank you, Jacob. Sold. And for the first time ever, I am gonna be selling official Lego random color minifigs. First up, we have a green Darth Vader with like a sparkly color to him. So this is a official Lego figure, just never released in a set, obviously. Um, so it's like real Lego plastic and then, no, Pat, don't tell, don't text me, I'm trying to film. You've never seen these go for under 30 bucks? Well, now you have only on MNR Productions on Whatnot. Link in the description below. It was a wonderful Whatnot auction, and at the end of the day, I managed to gross $917. So people were willing to pay $917 for things that I paid $986 for in mystery bags and boxes. It's honestly quite a bit more than I was expecting. Now, there are Whatnot fees involved, which bring me down considerably, but for this video, I wanted to know the value that people would be willing to pay for things that I paid for without knowing what I was getting. I think I could have hit the $986 mark, if I had sold the Death Trooper banner, the Kylo Ren banner went for $61, and I thought the Death Trooper one was cooler, so it probably would have went for more money. But to me, the thing that cut the most into what could have been for me was the custom Twilight build. That one valued at $270 retail from Republic Bricks, only sold for $99 on my auction. That one definitely took the biggest chunk out of our chance at making back the $1,000. Anyway, if you guys want to check out Whatnot, the link is in the description below to get $15 dollars off of your first purchase you can check out all the great lego sellers on there including myself i'm streaming on there all the time so make sure you follow me at mnr productions and i'll see you in the next video deuces